Hello everyone, this is Daryl20 and welcome to episode 48 of Daryl20's Enigmonica 2 Expert Mode series. Uh, today, I want to get back to getting our way into thermal expansion. So last episode, uh, we fully automated or tripling and I've a little bit <coughs> cleaned up some of the mess downstairs. A little bit. Little, little tiny bit mess cleanup going on down here. Um, you know, we've had bigger messes in our bases before. What I, what I should probably do at some point, and it'll probably happen, is if you guys submit a really cool basement design for me, I'll clear out my whole basement, do a lot of this off camera, of course, and 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 populate or repopulate some of these machines in in that basement design, right? Like right now, it's just a big hodgepodge of here's a bunch of mess, right? Um, I really liked, you know having the cool buildings and, and, and designs. The basement's going to be a little tricky, though, because whatever you guys submit to me, I'm going to have to void out the area for it first. But should be cool. So uh, what we're working on today is thermal machines, right? So if I wanted to get uh, a thermal, uh, actually at thermal frame, right? Um, we know how to auto-craft most of this stuff, right? Like, did we get machine frames? Like, we have those auto-crafting now, right? Um, iron casings might be good, though I think we have to teach it tin electron tubes and hardened casings, but that shouldn't be too bad. And then we'll also have to teach in Yori crystals. But aside from that, I think we're pretty cool. Heavy engineering blocks might be, need some teaching as well, but I think like 90% of what those need to be already exists in the system as, as how to craft it. So um, we're gonna need a few things here, right? Like we need the actually additions laser bit, that thing. Uh, and we need um, a thermionic fabricator or two and a carpenter or two, right? So let's get uh, a carpenter. So you know, do you know how to make carpenters? How about like, should you learn how to make carpenters? I'm gonna say yes, right? I'm gonna say yes to that, to that question. Hey, look, we have resources again. How great is that? Automating resource production last episode. Let me tell you how cool that was. Uh, I think one carpenter will be good for now. Um, thermionic fabricators, I'm going to say we're going to need two of, right? Um, and we need to know how to make hardened casings, don't we? And, well, okay, cool. So let's do this. Do we have any of this? So I'm going to need eight diamonds, right? Eight diamonds and a couple casings from forestry. So like the regular sturdy casings. So let's 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 do this. You learn how to make a sturdy casing real quick. Okay. Cool. Uh, and we could just move some of these. To be fair, right? Like you don't exactly need to exist anymore. You can be moved. I have an aqueous accumulator here, right? But that could that could be easily uh, switched up such that it uh, uses. A sink, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and then the squeezer and the carpenter are all about seed oil. Can I? Can I have a reservoir real quick? Would that be a terribly hard thing to request? Nope, perfect, beautiful. All right, let's come back in a sec when I'm ready to, to redo all this stuff. So because we're discovered that it's like pretty good uh, to get this kind of conduiting going, fused quartz, huh? Is that one we already know how to make? No, but we will, we will. Uh, I decided to proceed, so this guy We'll see if that behaves. I don't know if it will, but we'll find out. <clears throat> we definitely will. Um, I want to like try and do everything with endo-io conduits because we've been having dire wire problems, um, which is not uncommon for us, right? Um, and, and having access to something like this would be kind of cool, right? So ME conduits that can interact in the same block space um, and item conduits as well. So like we should do that and then we should say you and say that. Sweet. All right, so you go into the alloy furnace and then you guys all go into here. 
So now if we look at conduits, we can get like some item conduits, not a problem. We need ender pearls, but I think we should have some of them by now. This has been running for a while now. Yeah, we're up to a little bit over 64 of them. We also have some enderman heads, which are nice. And I also got one dimlet parcel. It showed up in one of these chests. Um, so I uh, made sure to put it in the drawer so that we'd make sure not to lose those. Because those will be nice for us in the future, right? So... <laughs> Let's get like, you know, a decent number of those. That should be quick and easy. Nice, look at you going. Good job. Uh, now the question is, will the, will the other one work? But we're gonna get like, let's get like a stack of you. So you need more conduit binder. Okay, cool. So that uh, we have to teach. So yeah, you are that in the regular smelter. And then you are that, and that should be good. Okay. So the regular smelter factory is here. And then you. 64? Nice. All right, cool. Um, speaking of resources, how are you doing? You filling up? Yeah, you are. Nice. That is cool. So I purposely, so, so between episodes I ran an import bus here, but I purposely disconnected this because I'm debating whether I want to do that whitelist or not thing. Right, because um, I could very easily whitelist this and and specify which ores to pick up. I'm hesitant to do it though because I don't want to miss anything that I want to have. So in a little bit, I'm gonna check in on that and see how it's doing. Now, big question is, can I hook up enhanced energy conduits to existing universal cables? Hopefully, the answer is yes. Right. Um, but we'll very quickly find out if the answer is no, won't we? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely gonna find out pretty quickly if the answer is no. So let's try and be not so diary with this one. And what I might wind up doing is between episodes at some point. Hello. Um, you know, going through this thing and cleaning up shop a little bit. So, uh, well, this calls a crash. Mm, seems okay. Yeah, does this crash my game? That's that's a question you ask yourself when you're playing modded Minecraft sometimes. I wonder if this is gonna crash my game. <laughs> you never know how, like in theory it should be fine, right? But you never know. You just never know. All right, <coughs> so we're gonna run these guys over here. Um, so let's start with something basic, right? We'll have, uh, we'll have one carpenter, we want the squeezer, right? That's gonna be, for uh, the seed oil, right? Which we'll do peanuts with. So how about you? Maybe I should, I think what I'll do is start this on this side of the room, right? So so you're gonna be my squeezer and you're gonna be the carpenter that the squeezer transfers fluids into. So we're going to need the fluid conduits and I have to get those range upgrades, but I've been hesitant, but now that we have them, Right, we should be able to craft like maybe 10 of these. How many is that gonna require? Ender dust five? That's not bad. I just need to go manually do the ender dusting thing. Okay, so like we're gonna, <clears throat> and yes, I know this is not necessarily necessary. I just like doing it. Extract that, insert that, uh, and you guys, and then you. And then let's get some peanuts. I'm assuming I have at least some, right? Yeah, we have some. Booyah. We'll just do that many. Um, and maybe at some point we'll do something to like automate <coughs> that. But now we're getting seed oil. Yes? Beautiful, working perfectly. Cool, so that's your seed oil, dude, right? Um, now the next carpenter is gonna absolutely be water-based. So we'll stick you here. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to be you. That was supposed to be you. There we go. I wanted it to be placed while there was liquid in there so they wouldn't auto-connect. Sneaky. So that gets water. Boom. Okay. Uh, and we'll probably want another carpenter here also doing water. Okay. And then you guys 
and have power as well. And the reason I want to make sure that my Yetter Wrench on me is so I can do things like this and make sure everything's cool, right? So that's awesome. Uh, and then we're going to need our Thermionic Fabricator. And this guy is going to get the recipe of... Um, give me a sturdy casing. Uh, you're missing copper gears, copper gears, copper gears. Today we learned how to make copper gears. Which one of you guys is the gear guy? That would be you. That makes two at a time, by the way. Beautiful. Loving it. See? See how great automation can be? Um, and then diamonds times four. Now, in theory, um, we should be able to come up here and get a recipe for this. Now, do I have extra interfaces? I remember making a bunch, but I also remember not having a bunch. I think I used them at some point. <coughs> Somewhere. I don't know where. Um, but then we'll come up here and we'll say, you can be used in the carpenter. Like that. Right? So your pattern is four diamond and one sturdy casing equals a hardened casing. And we'll figure out how that's going to look uh, in a moment here. So this guy can live here, and your job will be this and that. Or no, it's this, right? Cool. All right. So, and then we'll also want item conduits probably in the back. I'm telling you, this uh, Ender.io mod is like made for Dyer and his lack of wiring skills. All right, so that should be good, right? Cool. So now we just need uh, some channels over here, right? So coming out of, oops, wow, I, I, I jumped at literally the right moment by total mistake. So we got 12 channels going on over here, right? So what I'm going to do is grab more cable. I suspect we're going to need a good number a bit more than that. We'll also want some P2P. And let's get the memory card here. Now when I shift right click you, you seem to be, so frequency is, because what I'd like to do, memory card cleared, invalid machine. So I think what's gonna happen here, if I'm not mistaken, when I, so this is currently frequency CO6E, right? I shift right click this, copy current device configuration to memory card. Oh, okay, cool. Last time I did that, I think it might have to be blank in order for that to work. Okay, I get it, but that's cool. So anyway, cable, right, you, let's go. Um, and if there's any need to like run cables together, we can use, you know, the, the thing, but I don't know that that's necessarily going to be true. So we can't run straight down there, but we can run like this. I just don't want to connect to those existing dudes, right? Now, technically, this could be run with those new kind of conduits, which did I make yet? I wouldn't mind trying these out at some point. Let's get 32 of them and let everything cook for that for a minute. Also, by the way, well, no, I think we're cool. I don't think I set you to use pures, did I? Yeah, I should have used this recipe. Hang on, I want to I want to flip that before I forget, because I will forget. Y'all know it. You know, I prefer using pure crystals if I can because, you know, you get twice as many of those. So should we just do this right here? Let's try it out, right? Uh, why not? So what we're going to do is technically, 
technically, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to be a little bit careful with the with the wire crossings and whatnot. Let's see how well this works, right? So in theory, I should be able to run this. Remember, I'm trying to be compact here, y'all. And for now, we'll just let this run straight up into here. But the problem is, right, um, properly right so if I do that we should see the number of channels going on there then I should be able to um, I want to use this here so we can see the channel use right this will this way we can see channel use right um, and the pattern is gonna go in here and we will have where's my memory card there he is loaded device configuration which should bring this online with one channel in use. Yes? Psst. Do the thing. I didn't hook that up to the wrong place, did I? No, we're cool. Reset. Copied current configuration, CO6. Device online linked to output side. But you're not connected, are you? Who? Oh, right. <laughs> I think I missed a cable. There we go. Now you're cool. Yeah, you are. Beautiful. Look at that. Look, one channel in use. Sweet. All right, I like it. I like it. So now if I asked for a hardened casing, that would not be an impossible task, right? So we're getting there on the things and success we have a hardened machine casing perfect uh which we need for another thermionic fabricator so let's make one of those right um now i don't know how often we need impregnated casings they're definitely needed for thermionic fabricators but that seems to be about it right so let's get eight pieces of wood This isn't what my normal carpenter use is going to be for seed oil, but I'm just going to get the impregnated casing. And if it turns out in the future we need more of these, because you need them for apiaries, but I'm hoping this is not a pack where I have to do bees, right? This is just to make my thermionic fabricator right now. So what we'll normally use this for is this, for impregnated sticks, because I think that's what we're going to need these for, for real, right? Um... So we'll make that recipe in a sec, but for now, you should be cool, minus the four gold gears we need, right? So let's get impregnated sticks tall, because I know that we need those, right? So <coughs> we will do this. That's right, you need to be in this mode, and that. Oh, hello. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not two stacks two wood cool um and where's my interfaces that i asked for so that's going to go there using up another channel obviously and we should be cool right um and then i just need to throw on here the old extract always active and he'll go into this interface which is fine right the squeezer doesn't need outputs on it this carpenter will. So let's get both of these guys set to extract always active. Cool. Um, but you know what I'm gonna do for this guy? Check this out, this is gonna be cool. Insert on brown. You are gonna be extract on brown, always active. And you're gonna keep this. 
some glass on you at all times. Okay, not greenhouse glass, normal glass. 16 sounds like a good amount to keep. You ready? So check this out. Uh, and a crafting card so that you can auto craft the 16 glass that you need to keep in stock at all times as needed. Ta-da! How cool is that? Right, Thermionic Fabricator? And then we'll do the same thing for this one. All right, so we're gonna do you guys. Boom, boom, boom. And then you will be extract on green, insert on brown, and you should start getting glass now too. Perfect, okay? Um, so let's get our other interfaces down so that you're all ready. And everybody should be good to go now in terms of auto crafting. And in total channel use, we should be at like, what, six, five, five? Yeah, five, because we have six machines, but one of them doesn't need an interface. Perfect, perfect. Look how nice that's gonna look when we're all done with it, huh? How cool is that? I'm liking the uh, decision to use Ender IO conduits. I feel like that was a good move. <coughs> the only thing is, do I care about a little bit of power drain by leaving these on all the time? My answer is gonna be no. I'm okay with that. If uh, if I if I start to have an issue, we'll we'll deal with it, right? But I think I think we'll be cool. All right. So now thermionic fabricators. If I want um, a thermal frame, right? I need to know how to auto craft the following. Like that's okay. We've got that down. That we've got everything taken care of. This we need um, we need ten electron tubes, right? So you need to know that, right? Um, so let's go teach the 10 electron tube thing here. So 10 electron tubes is that recipe, right? Uh, wow, that is really not even close. One, two, three, four, five, and two redstone. Five of you and two redstone, right? So let's test that by popping you into there. 10 electron tube start that should. Did I not hook you guys up to power? That makes sense. Why would I do that? That's a smart person's move. Right, so now you're getting juice. And then as soon as you get the threshold of heat, you should make the thing and boom. And we have 14 electron tubes. Beautiful. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, so a machine frame from thermal is also a thermionic fabricator recipe, which we're going to go up here. And basically do that. Because that's that shift clicked itself in a very smart way. So now if I want one of you, what all don't we have already taught? Missing iron casings. Right? So missing iron casings. Which is this, because we just taught it hardened casings and tin electron tubes. Cool. And that, my friends, I believe, just to be clear, can I make like 10 of these? That'll tell me for sure. So you don't know how to make Inuri crystals or heavy engineering blocks. But aside from that, we're pretty cool. Um, I think I taught you uranium plates already, didn't I? I did. Sweet. And do you know reinforced alloys? You do not, but you know mechanical components, right? Yes. No, you know steel, but you don't know iron. And you do you know steel scaffolding? No, so you need to learn all these things. So that uh, we'll take care of in a minute. Um, heavy and... Immersive engineering. Uh, uh, that. And then 
this mode will do this, but not you. Okay. And you go in the diamond one, which is this one. And the rest of y'all, and I'm pretty sure you know how to make steel rods, right? So the rest of these things can go in here. And now you should know how to craft heavy engineering blocks. Like if I said I wanted 10 of them. Yeah, you know how to make all the things for that. Cool. So the only piece that's left, right, um, for machine frames, if I want to auto craft them completely, is in Yori crystals. All right, guys, we're back. What are these purple blocks, you might be asking? I'll tell you in a second after I make some uh, range upgrade doohickeys. So um, the next plan, uh, I want to try something different because uh, that's the theme of this, this series is try and do things a little differently, right? Uh, so the next plan is how to automate the atomic reconstructor. And we've done this many times in the past with many different plans. I'm doing it a new way today, which looks pretty cool. Uh, this is the entity detector from Cyclic. Uh, and it is capable of detecting entities. And you can specify to detect experience or players or living or items. Um, so I'm going with items here, right? And I, I've got the radius set to 222, right? So I could like bump up the radius, right? Um, for the Y axis, the X axis, and the Z. And that's basically the, the area that it looks in for items. And you can configure it for how many items to count and greater or the less than or equal is what it outputs a signal based on, right? So if I say emit a redstone signal when there's less than one item there, right? Um, and let's assume that the atomic reconstructor, right, is in, you know, redstone, you know, stops the thing from running mode, right? As soon as an item drops into the range, boom, it turns it off and it starts firing. And it keeps firing until all the items are gone. And ta-da, we're cool, right? So if I wanted to get a ranged collector, uh, which needs a void crystal, uh, by the way, um, so check this out, we'll like do this, right? So you are in pulse mode. I want you to be in deactivation mode, right? So redstone signal equals deactivate. Okay, uh, and I'm gonna drop this dude. Now I don't know if the purple includes the thing. Oh, he does, cool, look at that, nice. All right, nice, cool. So that should be good. So we're gonna try this out, okay? <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is make a ranged collector, which by the way is currently making a hardened casing so that we can get some stuff. Uh, make an iron casing, right? So, yay, the automation's working. Uh, how are my uh, applied energistics? Six of those dudes are in progress. Are you making more at the moment or what? I think I can get 12 of them, can I? Yeah, because it's two of these per dust. Cool. So let's take this downstairs um, and apply this. So the other thing we're going to need is a dropper. Right. Um, this might be cool to have, like a regular old vanilla dropper uh, and an advanced coil. So do you know how to make these yet? Uh, you do, okay, cool. All right, nice. Uh, I'd like you to learn how to make these now. Thank you very much. And if you don't know how to make all the stuff you need for that, we can teach you, because we know how to make wires and stuff. Um, but with regard to you, I should really do the cobble works like really soon. But otherwise, we're pretty good. Okay, cool. So dropper, I'm thinking, can go here. Okay. Um, and what we'll have maybe I want my dropper here. All right, where's that glass? I wanna make this as compact as humanly possible. Um, do I have anything like clear glass? We've got mana glass from Batania. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Get more mana glass. All right, third time's the charm, right? So I'm thinking this way. Is that gonna drop in that direction? Yes, cool. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is put the detector the entity detector 
and we're going to want the laser this way so that it's facing out towards hello so redstone signal equals disable and you're going to search there and if it's less than one emit a redstone signal which in theory should stop that laser from pulsing at the moment sweet all right now we're talking all right um so then we will now uh take this preview right off oh hey you being sneaky there buster don't be, don't be sneaky. hey all right so what i might need to do <clears throat> i wasn't sure if i needed to do a thing right but we might need to do this. So we're going to do up is input red, down, or up is output red. Okay, and you're going to be less than one, the two by two by two area. For items, yes, items is the key, right? Not living, because I was standing there. I get it now. Yeah, items is the key. <laughs> if you leave it on entity living, then your player counts. Derp de derp derp derp. Uh, so we learned that little derp. And hey, do you have uh, those six dudes done yet? Thank you. Hey, much better range. Hopefully not killing it on our FUs, but we'll find out. Um, right, so now you need power. Okay, so that'll keep this guy charged and nice and full, right? And then let's say we had some iron. Okay, and we're going to want a ranged collector. And you're going to chill here. Well... I'm going to put you here, and you're going to whitelist, right? So if I drop you, he should go, in theory. Yeah, you're inside the area, right? And if there's less than one item, <clears throat> you should be cool. Okay, let's bump the radius up a little bit. We'll do this as this many and this many. See if that's a little bit better. Hey, there we go. Nice. And then when I get it, it stops going, right? So we'll whitelist you. And then you will be extract always active on green. Ta-da. Cool. So now we just need an interface here and a cable con to connect these two. It, it, because I broke an item. And then you her off. Uh, let's just use a normal cable here. That'll bring you online. And then we can say that uh, in Yuri Crystals, are made like so cool so we come over here we can cover most of this up uh, if we wanted to we could have another one of these here right but most of this nice all right so watch this right so i say a yuri crystal give me 10 of these And it's going to keep going. Nice. Then it'll be picked up by the ranged collector, which then gets deposited in the cool, right? So the only other thing to do this with this um, is, is to whitelist, um, let's see, redstone. 
and Lapis each have um, a thing, right? I don't know. We'll figure it out. See how it keeps running until we're cool? Nice. You're supposed to be there and there. Okay. Um, so the atomic... Anything else that's important for us to whitelist right at this point? Uh, coal, I should do. And, and maybe diamond. Cool. And this is only for the purpose of adding to the whitelist. And once I cover this up with stone, that hopping thing will happen. Because that's bad if they hop out of the lasers area. Cool. I think that's awesome and super compact and super cool. For now, Double Toy signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Uh, I'm going to teach uh, all the rest of those items for now. Take it easy.